Hey everyone, so real quick, just before we get started, I do want to say I got the idea for this new series I'm going to be starting from a YouTuber that inspired me pretty heavily to start YouTube and all that, called Mitten Squad. Unfortunately, last year, Mitten Squad ended up passing away. Um, it's very sad. I, I w only wish the best for his family, and I, I, you know, God bless him. Uh, but I... I wanted to try something new. He would always name his videos, Can You Beat? I'm going to name mine, Can I Beat? Because I am significantly worse at games than regular people are. So, uh, yeah, if you like this new, uh, this new uh, series, let me know. I'm going to start with Skyrim, just because I feel like it's an easy game to start with. And, uh, yeah, let's see if I can beat Skyrim as a pugilist. So right at the beginning, we're creating our character, and as you'll see right now, starting this game, I already had trouble. I didn't even delete the game. I've already downloaded this stuff three times, because this has happened so many f times. Holy sh**. Yeah, so uh, right after that little fiasco, we, uh, of course, as everybody's seen, wake up from our little nap in a cart. And then the title flashes. Buggy mess of a game five. I quickly enter in an FOV command because that's just me. I cannot play first person games in anything under FOV 120. Then we pull up on the Ops hood and we get to the liberty of making our character. As you saw in the beginning, I named my character Shirk because I was going for a Shrek look, but this game is very limiting. After that, we get to see what people do for fun in this town. Oh, I wonder what joyous activities go on. Alright, they've got him kneeling down on a block. Okay, and then, whoa, whoa, what's going on? No! Whoa, I don't think I can show that on YouTube. Anyway, uh, I just wanted you to take this moment to make sure you're subscribed. Go ahead and check that button. I think it's white, maybe. But, uh, see if it's, see if it's gray. If it's not gray, go ahead and turn it gray by subscribing. That's all I have to say for this message. Back to the episode. After that, I decided I need to get out of this town as soon as possible. So I ran past a giant lizard, got my hands cut off, died. Got there my hands go. cut off again, and then I had a little bit of a panic attack and decided to reenact my favorite WWE move. I finally saw the light at the end of the tunnel everyone talks about and woke up in a mysterious Wait. land. At least I'm no longer like Leon Kennedy in Resident Evil 4. After talking to a rock, I decided I needed to get my cardio in, so I went on a little bit of a run to the nearest town. When I got there, I immediately took anyway, all of this man's Help belongings. If you need. don't live to serve Within me, reach. then you don't deserve to live. Upon ruining this man's livelihood, I also made the thing that is going to keep us alive in this run and hopefully not make it entirely hell. Pugilist gauntlets. That's what that, that's what I'm going to call them. They're they're uh, they're spiked. I'm playing Skyrim Legendary Edition, so I have the Creation Club stuff that adds in all the spiked variants of the gauntlets. So that when I'm punching someone in the face, it's gonna be more like throwing a little pebble at them instead of smacking them with a wet noodle. After this, I make my way to Jarl Balgruff. Whatever his name is. I'm, I'm listening to some Nine Inch Nails on my way up when I get a call. So I pause the game, not noticing that wolf, and uh, I'm gone for a little while. So when I come back, you'll, uh, I got, I got a little bit of a jump scare. You'll get to hear my reaction. <gasps> Pretty funny, huh? Not for me. We killed the wolf, then I posed to get a picture with it. 
On the way to White Run, I saw some peasants fighting a giant, so I decided to slap him. I told them well, their club is stupid. Then, when I got to Yarrow Balgruff, he immediately sent me off to fetch some kind of technology. I'll reveal that once we find it. On the way to find the special technology, I committed a successful smash and grab. Realized all too late that I have steel armor. And died to, then played with, a puppy. Originally, I didn't want to use literally anything other than fists. Nothing at all, just my fists. But at this point in the run is when I realized this may not be possible without at least using healing spells, because if I don't, I'm cooked. After cutting through some webs and seeing a, a big scary spider, I went and tried to farm Sneak so I could get levels up. It was really an excuse to go do some chores, so I could stop playing. This challenge fucking sucks. Anyway, I, uh, I tried to farm Sneak, and I came back after, like, probably 20-30 minutes, and it didn't even go up a level, so that's great. After that, I decided spiders are icky, and I don't want to touch one. So I ran around it, cut the man down, to which he betrayed me and ran away. I said nobody gets away from me like that, and I forced someone to kill him for me. This someone was a dead guy that I then died to. After this, I ran past many dead people and I was much more successful in this attempt. There was a giant vault door that I eventually had to stop at because there was a big puzzle that was too scary for my infant brain. Then, hours later, after hyping myself up, I came back, completed the puzzle, and for some reason, my sprint and jump key weren't working. Eventually, I just decided to go ahead and get raided by the ATF, killed, killed again, and killed thrice. After this child decided to throw a tantrum 17 too many times, I finally took his iPad away. I then took all of my clothes off and attempted to get a picture that looked like I was sh on his corpse. Then, I immediately almost fell to my death off a fucking mountain. After that, I went back to see Jarl D Cheese and I gave him the tablet. After that, I partook in a little bit of gossip with the king. Then I was tasked to go see one of the giant lizards we saw in the beginning at a tower. Because it burned this guy's favorite friend. Then, because it wouldn't be a Bethesda game if this didn't happen, my game crashed. It froze and f crashed. Are you serious? Holy sh After that crash happened, I decided I was done for the day. So I went to sleep. Then, now, I'm sitting here. I'm back. So let me just, to keep away from the commentary, let me, let me talk about why I chose an, a, an orc. Uh, you may have been thinking, why did he choose a Gordian? A Khajiit? It's because those races are for p- The orc has a cool ability that lets me take half as much damage and deal double damage, which is very useful for this run. Other than that though, I f hate orcs. You have no idea how much. I want to stop this challenge. I want to right here, right now, say that this challenge is impossible for me, and I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. But I can't. I was fighting this dragon, and after even three tries, the second try, 
I, I, I smacked him for 15 minutes and barely made a dent. I am so tired of this. This is hell. I, maybe I should upgrade my gauntlets, I don't know. I, I'm recording this voiceover before the, bef before I continue. I haven't even finished the fight because the game crashed again it crashed again you're gonna get to hear me rage hard right here headphone warning what the f son of a b f i'm so tired of this challenge but i need to keep going after 40 minutes 40 minutes of sitting around and waiting for everybody else to kill the dragon. All of the soldiers died. And I was thanking God that Irithyll can't die. Or wait, Irithyll. Irithyll's in Dark Souls. But I was thanking God that Irithyll can't die. Because that is the sole reason I won this fight. I sat around wait for them to bring the dragon down so that it stopped flying and then i went out and i beat the living hell out of his tail i then took all the credit got charged for grave robbing got called a funny name Decided to take a nice peaceful walk back to the king to get th some things off my mind. Went back to see the king, then I was on my way to go see some old men. Finally, when we made it to High Hrothgar, I ran my way up, opened the door, saw the four old guys, sucked an old man off, I mean out, then made a terrible, terrible discovery. Fisting these guys doesn't count as quest progression. I need to hit them with the shout. But as, as you'll see, they, they have a hot bar, a health bar at the top, meaning the shout does damage to them. But I have to use it. I looked it up. The shout, I, the shout does 10 damage after everything we've done in this episode together this is where it's gonna end at a at a at a f test because well i guess this is the end of the road guys so uh i answered the question can i beat skyrim only fisting people no which sucks because I just made the steel spiked gauntlets. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know what games or challenges or whatever you'd like me to do in the future, please. I really did enjoy this, kind of, a little. Uh, I'd love to keep making content like this. Thank you for everything, all of you. All my subscribers, all my viewers, everything. Have a fantastic day.